Live Music Nation podcast. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today, we were David Shaughnessy. He's with the KC Irish Fest. David, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. David, give us a little background on you. Where'd you grow up? Talk a little bit about your family and your career. Well, you know what? It's it's a strange, convoluted career I've had. Um, <laughs> I am uh, a Kansas Cityan. You know, we've got the NFL draft here this weekend, by the way. Heck yeah. Uh, and I've been... Um, I'm a career photographer, and I've been booking the Kansas City Irish Fest on a volunteer basis for the last uh, 21 years. Uh, and then, so after, um, so I'm kind of wrapping up my photography career, and I have a great uh, international agency, uh, booking agency called Uptown Artist Group. And we handle a lot of, a uh, lot of international acts. And there's there's several uh, based in the U.S., but I'd say 60% are international. Perfect. Okay, so let's jump into your festival. Um, I always ask these three questions for anybody that's not been there. Number one, what does it look like? Number two, what does it smell like, mean food? And number three, what does it sound like, music, environment, other activities going on? Well, the Kansas City Irish Fest is a 21-year uh, festival. We are based in Kansas City, Fort, and we have about eighty-five to 90,000 people there every Labor Day weekend, always on Labor Day weekend. Um, it's, a, it's a massive undertaking. It's, we've got about, well, geez, a thousand volunteers uh, of which why I am a volunteer. And it's, it's a very family-oriented, friendly festival. Of course, you know, we, we serve alcohol because that's what the Irish do. And that's the, uh, but there's a huge kids area. There's, there's things for teenagers. It's a, it's a really, really family oriented festival. Where does it happen at? Happens in Kansas City, Missouri. Where, where at in KC? Okay. So um, there's an area called Crown Center where Hallmark Cards is had. Sure. Sure. So Right, right in the epicenter of that. That's uh, they've got a big shopping kind of mall. Um, hotels are there. We've got a West and a Sheridan. It's a perfect place for people to come and camp out for the weekend. Perfect. All right, let's jump into the food. Let's talk food. So, food wise, yeah, we've got a great amount of food there. Um, all festival fare. You've got anything from like the meat pies to a lot of traditional Irish food, um, uh, fish and chips, obviously, because that's what the Irish based on. You know, it's a great amount of uh, uh, it's a great amount of variety, I should say. A lot of local restaurants, um, and you know, they still have the uh, funnel cakes. Of course, every festival's got to have a funnel cake. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's jump in. Let's jump in and talk about the music. You've you've booked a lot of acts. You you have told us you know international acts, local, regional, national. Um, give us give us some samples of uh, of some music that you guys have had in the past. We've got a wide variety of Irish music, and you know we we have the uh, traditional Irish music, obviously a lot of the ballads, and we pride ourselves on bringing in new and unheard of. Un unheard of music into the United States that is Irish based, but not necessarily your brand of Irish music. And one of those bands, uh, for instance, is called The Academic. And The Academic is this four piece rock and roll band from Dublin. They don't sing about Irish songs at all. There's no Irish influence. It's pure rock and roll. They've done, uh, they've opened for, uh, for U2 a few times. Mm. But then we go back and we've got a lot of uh, some of the traditional acts we have are Tata and Bioga. And Bioga is, is, was on an Ed Sheeran record. I think it was called Galway Girl. And speaking of Galway Girl, we got the guy that made it famous, Mundy. And he sold 20 million records. Nice. So it's a really wide variety of different sorts of Irish music. Perfect, perfect. David, what... What makes this festival special for you? You've been involved with it for 20 years. Just uh, just reflect back a little bit and why it's so valuable for you to be invested in. 
Well, that's a great question. I think that's what is most important to me about the festival is the camaraderie we have between the lifelong, I should say, festival long volunteers, people who've been there for 21 years, uh, the, those lifelong friendships, the camaraderie. Uh, and actually, you know, personally, it's a legacy. You know, I've helped build something into a huge festival that's recurring. And there's a bit of a legacy for me to give back to the can to Kansas City, who've given me so much. Yeah, that's fantastic. How do people find how do people find out about the Irish Fest? To find out more about the Irish Fest, you go to kcirishfest.com, and it's got a list of uh, everything you need there: tickets, uh, music, everything. That's perfect, guys. David Shaughnessy joining us today, KC Irish Fest. David, thanks for joining us. Hey, I appreciate you having me on. Absolutely. Well, baby, I'm